you have all the uh, you have all the score you need, right? Why stop there? Innovative Jake, more yearly army tradition. Got to be traditional. Didn't I go innovative last time? I think I did. I go for something a bit different. I seldom go administrative, right? But maybe I did last. Uh, it's hard to remember. Mm, it's very hard to remember. Could uh, could go influence. Get that Diplo annexation cost reduction, since there's probably going to be a fair chunk of that. But that only saves us on Diplo. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with economic. That maintenance, that autonomy, that everything. Humanism. Actually, that better relations over time is probably going to be pretty handy. Hey, you know what? I almost never go humanism. Let's do it. This is not exactly bad ideas guy run level, because humanism is an incredibly strong idea, but... Hey, these guys are looting without me. That's unfair. I think the only other time I've taken humanism was when I played with the Mongol Khanate way back. And I'm all up for switching things out. This year will mark the beginning of an evolutionary period for our nation. The old feudal ways will begin to make way for a more modern, centralized nation. Although struggling financially due to miscalculated projects and military campaigns, we've managed to transform ourselves into one of the most dominant powers of Europe. French nation. Let's just take that off because don't want to be doing that. Period. If I let another year or two pass, I'll be safe. Nobody will join that coalition. And then I'll be able to start targeting stupid, sexy Flanders. Which will, again, take quite a long time. Gotta make sure those relations with French stay, uh, the French stay very high. And man, I really need the French to fall out with one of their neighbors that isn't me, because that wouldn't be fair. For me. Alright, the Barwees wish to rise up. We have to do something about that. Why isn't someone doing something? And nicely timed uh, Liege, I want you there with your cannons and your artillery uh, and your siege. Okay, they don't have cannons. Uh, there we go. Go diplomatic for minus 53% diplo cost to reduce war exhaustion. We have knocked it down a fair bit over this campaign, but there's no real need to do it further. At least not yet. There we go. This should destroy any likelihood of... Okay, no, it's not destroying any likelihood of un, um, revolt here. But I know what would. A touch more stability. Now, why don't I try being next Pope, anyway? There we go. Give ourselves a 12% chance. Why don't we try being Pope? There we go, 33% chance. I also wanted to increase my relations with the Pope so I'd get better um, people, everything, really. Right, so the issue is that you're allied with Holland. It's lose-lose for me on that front. Because either you go hostile with them due to wanting their land, and that hurts me because it stops me from just waltzing in and taking the land without cheesing you off. Or I have the issue of I can't attack them because they're allied with you. Issue after issue. Good thing I'm so clever I'll no doubt find a way around it. 
Okay, I'm gonna give it another year of safety net just to make sure absolutely nobody wants in on this. It's gonna be nice because now I get an extra army. Liege is in, Flemish is accepted, and we are above our force limit. That'll change when we grab Hanot at least. And the, uh, the autonomy of these provinces will go down. 60 though. Ooh. I think I will keep one of these forts. This other one can go the way of the dodo. Integration is indeed a slow process. I'm gonna miss that one siege guy. He was really good at uh, sieging. Now the nobility control none of my provinces but demand at least 15% so I'd be as well giving them Limburg. And I might even give them Liege as well, since it's rel it's high in uh, manpower. Then so is Hanot. I want to add numbers here. Yeah, they still demand control, so I'll give them both of those. Hopefully that just didn't give them too much, because that would be scary. Not as scary as giving me all that military that I desire, though. How about it? Yeah, we can do that. We'll call the uh, the Diet is dangerous because it brings them really high up. But the advancement of nobility will go away in ten years. It's risky, but I like risk. Now give it to me. 150 power. I promise I won't Vasca it needlessly. I mean, this military technology is not all that necessary. Let's just get on with those ideas instead. It's the right thing to do. Jake Austria, Jake Poland. Poland, Moldavia, Teutonic Order, and Pomerania. Teutonic Order, we're doing so well. But it seems that Poland is on the rampage. Don't know who's going to win out there. It's a pretty even battle, but... Oh, oh, what's France doing getting involved in all this? Oh, well, it's just another attack against Genoa. So cabinet cooperation is rare. This is your doing, isn't it? Savoyard conquest. Such a pain, aren't you? This guy. Succession war. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to that, did I? Hungarian succession. The thing is, it's chaos for everybody that isn't called France, and that's bad news for me. I really want French Comte, but nobody wants me to have it. Still, it's more important that I expand outside of the HRE, so I'll take this. May as well grab all the Manola while I'm at it. And, you know, war reparations, you can't go wrong with those. And I quite like getting Luxembourg back on the map. I doubt they're going to want to be my vassal, but I could try. And who's going to stop me from trying? At the very least, it's kind of a province that I can defend from France. And a small little thing for me to nibble on if I ever find I have aggressive expansion to waste. Or to Vasca. And then again, Brabant could be brought back into the map. Would there be any advantage to that? Not that I can think of. It's just another piecemeal for Holland. Whereas Luxembourg is kind of protected. I should warn Lorraine and Aachen while I'm at it. I almost, uh, I almost went through with that without taking a knot. There we go. Happy enough with that. Consider yourselves... They're far too rich and powerful. Well, you aren't, so don't you dare tux lo touch Luxembourg. Minus 66. There's a good chart out there in the big bad wild that shows how much of a dis uh, difference there has to be. Oh shoot, this is going to be unlawfully imperial territory. Maybe not, because Austria's at war. Can't remember if that affects it or not. Now I should hold off doing this, because if I mess up, it's coalition o'clock. 
Trier Alliance. Hmm. I think I shot that down before and I'll shoot it down again. And this is nice. We're right at our force limit. We're doing okay. Could you explain the meaning slash origin of Vaska, Jake? It's one of the funniest things I've found here in Sweden, except for them queuing for buses. And that is, if you are a pompous young individual with daddy's checkbook, you go into a bar and you order two bottles of champagne and uh, you tell the barman to Vaska one of them. That is to say, pour it down the sink. Now you do this purely to show off that uh, you're riding on daddy's money. It's an asshole thing to do, really. Holland. You're gonna be my final boss at the end of all this, Holland. What's funny about how they queue for buses? So you have a bus... Ah, freaking Austria. I'm not doing that. He's going to be unhappy. Actually, he's going to be hostile. That's a bit scary. Let's improve those relations. I'm not all that scared of him. I mean, look at him. He's uh, ripping in pieces here. Still. Lorraine actually allied Luxembourg, so Luxembourg is going to be safe there for a good chunk of time. But they're not going to be diplovasilized by me. At least not soon. Not soon enough. So, that year has passed, I can happily fabricate my claim on you. I don't know how I'm going to break you up with Holland, but by the same token, I know exactly how I'm going to break you up with Holland. Because Holland is your only friend, you definitely can't befriend Burgundy. France might, but France have too many relations, they're unlikely to go for you. France sees all my land as strategic utility. Disgusting. Well, as long as I keep those relations nice and extremely high, things should be okay. What third world country do you live in, Jake? Line up for buses, please explain that too. Yeah, so one person stands in the bus stop, and then each other person just stands outside the bus stop, and then you give, like, between three and five meters before the next person lines up and the next person. You have this long line of very spaced out people waiting for a bus. It's ridiculous. It's just, I mean, I'm a Scotsman. I can get behind not liking people, but it's just daft. Now, thankfully, even if they rise up in Hanot, the... Uh, Castile are going for Aragon, Conquest. Austria are no longer involved in that. That's kind of good. Austria might finally gather some strouts. Yeah, okay. Good. Castile's going for it alone. And France... Uh, France has no interest in that land. It's a shame. What happens if more than one bus stops there, though, Jake? Are there different queues for each bus? Uh, well, the transport system here runs pretty smoothly, so you're not likely to see any overlap there. Saxony and Cologne all done, and done right. Loving that power projection of mine, though. It's giving me all the monarch points. Master de Bourgogne, I really hope he gets his chance on the throne. He is superior to my current ruler, even though Duke Charles II has seen us through our golden years. And I still have not lost Jean-Baptiste. How long has he been going for? He's like the Duracell bunny. Vassalizing all of Flan uh, Flanders is going to be ridiculously expensive in terms of aggressive expansion. Thankfully, though, they're not converting, at least... Oh, no! Jean-Baptiste has finally bit the bullet. Well, I guess when he died, we erected many statues and paintings of him, because clearly our nation revolved around that man. He does need replaced, though. Might as well replace him with our current uh, individual. So close, but not quite there. At least you're fast. 
Jake, can the Burgundian succession fire when you have formed Burgundy? Uh, theoretically, yes, but also no. It can't form if the player is Burgundy. Am I going to be free up of a rival shortly? Possibly. Well, we're not going to have to worry about religious unity anytime soon, but Flanders, I want you inside me. It's just that, you know, slight issue of aggressive expansion. So much of it. It's like... Hmm. The world is in a bit of a tither at the moment. We've still, we're still cool royally, right? Good. Let's keep those relations as they should be. And, uh, your capital is in Vlandren. You're unlikely to surrender Ghent to me, but it would be quite funny if you did. I need friends, though. But no one is really holding together very well, except really Holland. Holland's doing good. I should solidify our friendship, because I'm about to dick move them. Fools. Jake, you're going to convert to glorious Calvinist. This is not mayo and taxes. Wasn't I meant to take a Diplo idea? Oh well. Can't get enough of that increased uh, settler growth. It's really saving my ass, right? Jake, lots of cash at hand, yes. Yes, indeed. Should probably be building some buildings. Four limit buildings. I mean, one little force limit goes a long way, right? Damn it, man, I want to be the uh, cardinal controller. I'll give it a slight token effort. Are we going to maintain you on France? Because that's important. Hmm. Okay, I need a quick water break before I uh, consider this. Okay, now that I've chilled my head a bit. Uh, humanist was probably a pretty bad idea. Good thing, because we haven't taken anything in it yet. I should, considering the way I'm going, probably go for influence. Because I will need this. I will need this a fair chunk. So, there we go. Because I need that income from vassals right away, right? But the aggressive expansion impact is going to pay for it, so I'm so straddled on the HRA here. So, Holland, your faithful allies require us to help them in the Dutch conquest of Cleves. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You're calling in your good friend Vlandren, right? Of course. Not Vlandren, Flanders. Oh, I cannot help but agree. I don't want you to give me any land, of course. If you did, I'd be uh, unhappy with that. Let's get that fort on the go, and then of course we'll accept. I'm sure we didn't need to be at peace for anything. I will provide moral support. 
I don't want my king to die. So like I said, he's just there for moral support. It's kind of good for Valandran to go and die for my sins, though. Hmm. Got you back, Georgia. Okay, so when you're looking to get some nice war participation, just smack your troops down on a fortress. And you should get a reasonable sum of war participation. I don't think it counts if you put in more than there actually are room for, though, so... Smack some down here as well. Oh, shoot, they're going for it instead. I'll take this, then. Um, I just had a thought. Haven't I been... No, okay. I was getting my games mixed up. I was playing a game as Burgundy earlier in the office. And I was privateering English Node, and I just suddenly thought, hey, "Don't my don't my friends hate me for all that?" How are we doing on the inflation sensation? Couldn't hurt to get rid of a bit of it, because we're doing fine on the stability. The Hanautans will want to rise up, but I'm sure my good allies will help me out there. We'll get that fort on the go, though, since I may need it. Conquer you. Well, no, this is kind of good. It gives me a chance to just chill out with the aggressive expansion for a wee bit. Just chill out. And no, Trier. I'm not going to be your friend. Not unless you're going to be my vassal. <coughs> Jake, you're probably due for tech 10 and better units. I, I was hoping to get the minus 10%, though. Those better units aren't going to be much better. Oh, right. Burger involved in this. I'm locked in by that, but... Limburg or Limburg? Tax or production? Nobility or bourgeoisie? The thing is, I can't give the nobility any more influence. That would be daft. And that's actually kind of good if I can uh, get the nobility to lose some influence. Base production in Limburg. And it produces iron. How wonderful. Fairly well, nobility. Numbers in this uh, war don't actually look all that promising if I get caught out unawares here. But as if I would ever fall into such rookie mistakes. We've got this. Flip off the nobility, Jake. That's what I do. So, gotta hand it to Holland. They're on quite the warpath here. How can I deal with you? They have an interest in Kuln, and it would work out nicely for me if I had them take Kuln. So I'll give it to Holland right there and then. And what that means is I'm going to grab a claim on Aachen. Might just come in handy. We do have a bit of a truce, still 20... No, that was fast. That was really fast, and I got some lovely favours from them. Osnabrück and Cleve. These guys are getting scarily good. I just really hope they don't decide to turn on me. That's fine. I should probably boost their feelings towards me. Because I don't want them breaking up with me over uh, some tiny little permanent claim. Do they get permanent claims for Holland uh, for forming the Netherlands now? At this rate, Holland will conquer all the French region, not you, Jake. Cheating AI bastards with their uh, aggressive expansion. That said, we're probably toe for toe for uh, our aggressive expansions. I still really want Flanders, though. I really want Flanders. Okay, Austria now want an alliance. I am not... Oh, they secured the personal union over Hungary. Uh, oh, well, what's left of Hungary? <laughs> what the hell is going on? 
going on in this world? Lithuania is getting a little out of hand there. The Ottomans getting stunted by Ethiopia. I mean. Oh well. English nobles. Uh, yeah. Austria, no. Why would I do that? What reason do I have to ally you? If France comes for me, you're going to have to help me out anyway. Because you don't have to, but be a mighty, uh, mighty nasty move of you not to. Not sure if there's much point in me actually holding out here. What I should do is take a step back. Because if they're going to come anywhere, they're going to go into Burgundy and cause some mayhem there. Or they're going to come into Rethel and cause some mayhem there, but at least I'll be the defender. Jake, that's a historical royal Hungary. There we go. Now they're not actually going to... T oh, well, th thanks everyone. France are showing off their 5-5 five, five general here. France, you're a good guy. Sometimes. Jake, ally them for no unlawful territory. Whoops, no. That's not how it's going. Gotta limit the uh, HRE territory I take at this rate anyway. Is this really my aggressive expansion? It's gone with... Oh, I think these are just nations that have reappeared. But it is pretty low with a whole bunch of people. Might want to invest in some better friends quite soon though. If only I could befriend France. We're so close to it anyway. Some better relations with Castile certainly couldn't hurt. Who knows, maybe they'll go friendly. Ah, they only slightly want that land. So I got that uh, Aachen claim. Ah, no, Switzerland. Go away. Oh, well, they are about to go away. Gui de Kumartin. Just coming to put them in their place. Let's grab that admin. I'm going to have to grab this now anyway. And let's take this while we're at it. Get our superior Schwaz writers. Yeah, I've already got you guys. And Pedro. Form an alliance with Luxembourg. You tempt me so. I mean, they field 7k units. And I have a space for them, right? I got a couple of spaces. Why not? It's the worst that could happen. Well, the worst that could happen is that they go on a rampage and they call me into it all. Which I admit is a pretty bad situation, but no, I doubt they will. Let's grab it. Too cocky Luxembourg. And again, I need to befriend Trier. What happened that they stopped being so friendly? <coughs> Excuse me. Jake Vosca, his manpower, just a shit. Uh, I do like using Vosca for everything. And I mean everything. Holland, interestingly enough, don't want to get involved. Okay, well, I can uh, I can spend favors to get them in. And that's what I'm looking for. Hell, I might give this land to Luxembourg. Are they interested in it? They are. Never recently broke a province. <laughs> Promised to give land. How long ago was that? It was rather a long time ago. Can't go wrong with faster claims, or some goods produced. Goods produced is so good. Switzerland showing off their new draperies. Aragon almost not existing. Pope doing pretty well. Siena doing really well. Wouldn't mind a friendship with them. So many friends I want. Jake Aachen is a free city. Damn. Austria is horribly in debt, but they would still help. Okay, that means I need another whipping boy. Oh man. 
And I've just been to war with Colne. How am I looking on my Cassus belly? 